Uh, I'm Françoise Barré-Sinoussi. Um, we are at the Pasteur Institute, where the HIV AIDS virus has been uh, discovered in 1983. I started at Pasteur in the uh, early 70. I was uh, 23, 24 years old. I started uh, to make my study at the university, working at the same time at Pasteur on animal retroviruses, all human viruses. Uh, were explored as potential cause for AIDS. The only family uh, for which no study had been made at that time was the retrovirus family. So all the others were already excluded as potential uh, cause of the disease. We uh, at Pasteur, we were contacted by a clinician in France who recognized the first case of AIDS in, in our country, in France. And they had in mind that um, HTLV, human T cell leukemia virus, could be the cause of AIDS. So they came to us at Pasteur asking the very simple question, do you think HTLV could be the cause of AIDS? So the discussion with the clinician, uh, we decide all together to try to isolate the virus from a patient uh, with uh, generalized swollen lymph nodes and to check whether we can isolate the virus from the lymph node itself. So it's how after uh, about two weeks in the culture, we started to detect uh, the enzymatic activity which was corresponding to a retrovirus. And then we checked under the microscope whether the virus was uh, looking like retrovirus, the size, the shape, and also whether it was an envelope around the virus and everything was corresponding to uh, a retrovirus. It was not the same morphology as HTLV however. And later on, we found that the morphology was the same of uh, the morphology of lentiviruses, which is a subfamily of uh, retroviruses. We then have to make the link between the virus and the disease itself. And for that, we had to develop blood tests. The blood tests indicated to us that uh, indeed only patients with AIDS or we create symptoms or at risk of AIDS were presenting antibody against the virus we isolate, but uh, other patients with autoimmune disease, cancer, or any other disease or blood donor were not presenting antibody against the virus we isolate. In addition, we started to make uh, isolation of viruses from different patients with AIDS or create symptoms and we then started also to uh, characterize the genome of the, of the virus and uh, found out that it was something new, never identified before. There is no patient with AIDS anymore <laughs> if they are on treatment. Today we are sp speaking about people living with HIV uh, when they are treated by uh, a combination of drug, of antiretroviral drug. They are doing perfectly well. Their quality of life is uh, almost uh, as uh, good as the quality of life of someone who is not HIV positive. However, we have uh, uh, 37 million of people in the world infected by HIV, and only 59% of them are on treatment. So the priority uh, for the future is to continue to make progress in the access to uh, prevention, uh, testing, and treatment everywhere in the world. And at the same time, we have to work on the priority of science. The priority of science is to have a treatment that will, if not a cure, at least a treatment that will induce sustainable remission. And hopefully, we will have a vaccine. Don't ask me when, but uh, I hope uh, I will see it during my life.